Hello everyone. In this short video I want to give a brief overview over the lobster challenge and explain how you can participate. So the lobster challenge, the lobster smart contract is a simple Pluto smart contract that I deployed to participate in the celebrations of the Alonso Hard Fork event. And the idea is to give a name to Charles' stuffed toy lobster. And roughly how it works is that 500 people can participate by creating transactions that add their own random number to the random number that is being tracked by the contract. And after those 500 votes are in, this will be used to generate a final random number that then gives the name. And you can read all the details in the GitHub repository that I created for this purpose. That's um, input output HK and then lobster minus challenge. So all the details are in here. So let's first briefly explain how it works. So first of all, we need the address of the lobster script. You can find that here in the readme. So that's this address here. And let's first look what UTXOs, uh, which unspent transaction outputs are sitting at this address right now. So I have a very simple script that you can also find in this repository, in the scripts folder, mainnet UTXO add. But if we look at that script briefly, it's just a very thin wrapper about functionality provided by the Cardano CLI. And it just takes one argument, which is the file name that contains an address, and then it just displays the UTXO sitting at that address. So for this to work, you need a Cardano node running with the newest version so that in particular you have access to the Cardano CLI. And you always need this socket path for communication with the node. And in my case, that's called node.socket. So if yours has a different name, you would need to update the script accordingly. And I have created a file with this lobster address. So this here is the address that you also saw in the readme. Okay, so let's see what's sitting there right now by executing the script and giving it as parameter this file with the address of the lobster script. And we see that right now there are six UTXOs, which is a bit unusual if everybody did what I thought they would do, there would only be one. So there's only this one that keeps track of the votes and the random number. But um, in Cardano, the way the EUTXO model works, everybody can at any time send anything to any address. So there's no validation where you send what. Validation only happens if you try to spend an output. So there's no way to prevent people from sending stuff to this address. And for that reason, in order to find the right UTXO, the relevant one that really keeps track of the random number and the votes, I minted this NFT here. This is this uh, with this policy ID and token name Lobster NFT. This is also listed here in the readme of the GitHub repository. So this is this policy ID and this token name. So the UTXO that contains this NFT is the relevant one. We can ignore all the others. And then there are two more native tokens used. Those two have the same policy ID, this one here, uh, that starts with FD. So you see that's the same here. Um, and that policy ID is a very simple one that just means there is no restriction on minting or burning. So whereas this one is an NFT, so there can only ever be exactly one of those. Uh, these two are completely free. So anybody can create new ones or burn existing ones. And there are two relevant for this contract, one with token name lobster counter and one with token name lobster votes. And the idea is that 
the value sitting at this UTXO that contains the NFT keeps track of the current random number with the amount of the lobster counter token. So 669 lobster counter tokens are at this UTXO right now. So that means the current random number is 669. And then the lobster votes token keeps track of how many votes there have been. So there are 15 lobster votes tokens. So right now 15 people have already voted. And the idea is if you want to vote, you must create a transaction that consumes this UTXO and creates a new one at the same address, which again contains the NFT, updates the lobster counter with your own random number and increases the lobster votes by one. So if I wanted to vote now, for example, um, with the random number 13, so the random number must be between 1 and 100, so 13 would be fine. So that would then be 682 if I add 13 to this. So I would create a new output at the same address that contains the NFT and then mint 13 lobster counter tokens and then put all 682 to this new output and mint one lobster vote token so that then in the end there are 16. So that's all. I created a script to make it easier to create this transaction. So if you look at that briefly, it's called lobster minus contribute. And that takes seven arguments and then uses these to assemble the correct transaction. So that uses the Cardano CLI transaction build command to, to build the transaction. Then it signs it and submits it. And the arguments are first is a UTXO with funds that I have access to, to pay for transaction fees and provide collateral. Then the UTXO at the script address that holds the NFT and the state. Then one of my addresses to receive the change. Then a signing key file that will allow me to unlock this first argument, this first UTXO, the old counter value, the new counter value, and the old value of votes. So let's try this. Let's first check again. So this is the lobster script. Now I also need the UTXO for the transaction fees. So I have an address that I call address.wallet. So that's one of my personal addresses where there are some funds. So let's check the UTXOs there. And I can see this last one, for example, I can use to pay for transaction fees. So if I want to demonstrate that, I can do lobster contribute. So the first argument was this wallet UTXO. So I can just read that from here. So I take this and now I must, the, the syntax used is to, to give this TXIX the index, I use hash and then the index. So in my case, hash zero. So the next argument is the script UTXO. So that's this one here and that has transaction index one. So it's this hash one. Now the next argument was wallet address. So that's this address wallet to receive the change. Then the signing key file. In my case, that's called sk.wallet. Now the old count that we can read from here, that was um, 669. Then the new count. So if I want to pick 13 as my number, and the new count, as I said before, is 682. And finally, the old number of votes, which is 15. Okay, and I press enter. And everything seems to have worked. So there's some information and it says submit a transaction, no error message. So now we can check at the lobster address again, whether it took effect. And of course that can take a couple of seconds because on average there's a block on Cardano every 20 seconds, but it's only on average, so it can also take longer. So let's just see whether something happened already. And indeed, this already took effect. So now we have 
16 volts and the counter has updated to 682. And that's it. So that's how you can contribute and add your own vote. And once 500 of you have voted, then we will provide a final transaction to bring the number to 501 where we add our own number. So we picked one in the beginning and the whole contract is parameterized by that number. So we can't change that after the fact. So after 500 votes are in, we will add our own number that we picked in the beginning to the count. And then this can be a large number. So then we take the remainder of dividing by the length of the list of names. So the list of names is also in this repository. So I just took some available list of, of names from the internet. And that list has 1,219 entries. So indices from 0 to 1,218. So in the end, we, we add our own secret number, then divide by 1,219, look at the reminder, and that will be a number between 0 and 1,218. And then depending on what number that is, we can just look up the name and that's all. So if 500 of you or now it's only 483 or something or 84 participate, then the lobster will finally have his name. So good luck and have fun.